Peace be upon you. I'm Samir Abu Zaid. Inshallah, today we will start uh, a discussion in electrostatic actuation. Uh, electrostatic actuation uh, is the most uh, common used uh, actuation uh, regime in uh, MIMS uh, due to many uh, reasons. Uh, we will uh, not go into uh, through the, those uh, reasons, uh, but we will discuss an example of uh, this actuation today, which is uh, the parallel plate actuator. In fact, uh, parallel plate actuator has many applications, uh, such as uh, 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 varying uh, capacitor, uh, and uh, uh, there is other kind of electrostatic actuator that are more commonly used in actuation, uh, such as uh, bomb drive. Uh, but we need a simple example to start, and uh, you can uh, expand it uh, after that to uh, more complex uh, designs. Uh, we will, I will show you at the beginning uh, how we start the electrostatic actuation physics. Three V. And we go to structural mechanics, and we, we search for electromechanics. This is the physics that you should uh, add. And it, it is composed of solid mechanics and electrostatics. And it has to something called deforming domain. Deforming domain is very important because uh, when you make actuation uh, between uh, parallel blades for example uh, the, the domain between them is deforming so to to uh, to uh, take this into account uh, you sh uh, you should add the deforming domain deforming domain uh, make you uh, change the distance between the two blades uh, while you are uh, simu uh, simulating if you th there's something in in uh, parallel black capacitors uh, called uh, voltage volume. If you didn't add the deforming domain, the, the, this concept uh, will not uh, uh, be visualized because uh, the, 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 the simulator will, will, will take the first, uh, the first uh, uh, result as a, a, a reference and will continue uh, solving uh, using it, but if you add a deforming domain, uh, it will start for each iteration or for, for each uh, sweep, uh, parametric sweep. He uh, the simulator will start uh, calculating the forces from this uh, point. So the voltage boolean can be detected, and voltage boolean means that the electrostatic force is uh, higher than the. Uh, the, the mechanical force, so the, the, the two blades will collapse and they will touch each other, and th th this voltage bullet should not be reached uh, by the uh, barrel brake capacitor. You should design as a designer your barrel brake capacitor to not reach this voltage. We will open our uh, We will open up our uh, main example. This is time. Now we go to geometry. We can look first at the, at the physics. We have here electrostatic and solid mechanics at as we described before, we have here electromechanical forces as multi-physics. And if we go to definitions, we can see the boundary uh, system and the moving mesh that we described in the, 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 the deforming domain that we described before. And we add, we add for the forming domain uh, a, a material in the gap between the two barrel brake capacitors, which is, should be air, because between barrel brake capacitors should be air. We added the material as air, and we 
uh, added it in the deforming domain uh, definition. So if we add it to the deforming domain, we can see that it is canceled. It is canceled from the soil mechanics because now it is a deforming domain. It is, should be a, a, a some sort of uh, gas or liquid to deform. So solid mechanics cancel it. We now go to geometry. We choose micrometer as uh, length and uh, length unit, and we build our structure. Build selected. This is the first uh, blade. Uh, so this is the deforming domain, and here we have the second blade. And this is our first beam, and this is our second beam. You can do dimensions by posing the video. As now we add materials. We want to add materials from library, uh, polysilicon. Let's uh, for domain, we don't want the deforming domain. Yes, and we add air. Take the deforming domain relative permittivity of is one. Now we go to solid mechanics. All we want, all what we want to add is the fixed constraint. And we have three fixed constraints the blade in the bottom, which is connected to the wafer, and the two, uh, uh, the two anchors that should. Uh, give the sub the mechanical support of the the higher blade and uh, that uh, provide the electrical uh, voltage too. Now we go to electrostatic and we have terminal one, which is uh, a parameter, and we add ground. Uh, as we said that each terminal is added to one of the two fixed constraints. Uh, if we go to this, we can see that ground is added uh, to one place, and this is, should be the terminal one. No, uh, terminal, uh, it should be added to, to fixed constraint, but uh, to make the, 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 the simulation faster, uh, it, is, it, is, it is added the, to the blade directly. But in real life, you add it to anchor. To anchor provides the, the, the electrical connection. So we add one to the, uh, one terminal to the, the, the higher, uh, uh, the, the higher blade and the other terminal to the lower blade. You can see uh, them because they are added to the 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 the, the, the boundaries that uh, faces faces each other. Now we go to uh, parametric sweep and we sweep from. Uh, the zero voltage to one voltage with a step of 0.05 voltage. This will take a quite long time. We can now go to the, we will not simulate because it will take a long time. We will go directly to the results. And we can use.
Du bist schon zufrieden. Hier ist die Blut. Du kannst sehen, dass, while we are increasing voltage, the displacement is decreasing. Till we reach a point uh, where uh, this, the, the, the ball in voltage happens. And at this point, we can see that there is a change in the slope of the graph, which means that we reach it bullying. Let's make the simulation and we can see it. So, Levin, if it takes a long time, I will put the bridge. As you can see, the blood is converging, and this is a good sign. As I told you, for the terminals, we add terminals. Uh, here, here we choose a kind of terminal that only apply to the surfaces. So we should add it for console to understand that this is the place of terminal. Uh, we should add it to the 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 the, the, the place of the blades that faces each other. So for the the, the, the higher blade, we, we add it on the bottom face. But while for the lower blade, we add it to the uh, surface uh, face. So we. We, we didn't see uh, them in, in, in while we, 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 we uh, were seeing the, the geometry, but to add them, you should uh, make some... Uh, I, I will show other, other kind of terminal that you can add them uh, directly without uh, the, the complexity of add, adding the surface uh, terminals, but in fact they are better in they, they take less time in simulation. This kind of terminals, as we can see now, uh, we we are now uh, close to the boiling voltage. And as we get close to the boiling voltage, what will happen is that the convergence plot start to. It takes longer time to longer time to converge, and when we we, we reach it, the boiling voltage, we will not be able to uh, converge. Of course, you can skip this uh, in the video. You can skip this part, but I want to show you the convergence of loss because it's important to understand it. Because using convergence of loss, you can know if your uh, simulation is correct or not. If your simulation does not converge, this means that uh, you should stop the, the simulation and uh, search for the error before. Uh, because if you didn't did, did that, you will continue uh, simulating and uh, maybe for hours and then you will find that you didn't reach uh, a solution.
I will pause uh, the recording till we uh, finish the simulation and then I will return back to you. Uh, the simulation has ended and we can see that uh, our voltage in volume voltage as we discussed before is 0.6 and there is a 3D plot of displacement. We can see that displacement is uh, highest uh, at uh, the plate uh, uh, top and the top plate. Uh, thank you for uh, listening. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and you benefited from it.